Yep, another Crossman. You guys want to know what's wrong with it? You guys should probably already know what's wrong with it. You guys should just know by looking at the engine what's wrong with it. Oh, I love that. But, it's a 2005. Yeah, 2005. Not a bad little tractor. So, it's an LT-1000, silver one. I think this is the first ever silver LT-1000 to ever come into the shop. Um, so, we got something new. Got the blades. Yeah, blades aren't bad. But, uh, yeah, first ever LT-1000 silver Craftsman we ever had in the shop. So, changing up a little bit, but we're going to be doing a motor swap on it. Uh, replace the steering wheel because it's pretty wobbly. I bet you the gears and the inside are gone. Um, oh, we also got the advanced cup holder. This is the Walmart cup holder. It's the advanced one. Awesome. Six speed. Not bad. So we're going to be sticking, I guess, this 14 horse IC Gold in it. Uh, judging by the serial number or the code number there, it's uh, 2000. So, cool. I guess we got ourselves a new project. But, uh, let's go in the shop for a second. We got uh, a Husqvarna in here. There we go. So, uh, yeah. Oh, look at it. I even found my little camera mount, too. I just actually threw it there. Um, so, yeah. So, pretty much the plans for the week. I was going to do the deck job uh, to yet uh, tomorrow. Or, well, Monday or Tuesday, which is tomorrow. Um, but it looks like it's going to be raining all kind of sort of week. So, I'm not going to work out in the rain. <laughs> um, actually, I should probably call Peter to tell him that we're not working in the rain tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, tomorrow's plan is, well, I'm going to go over today's plan. Is. Today's plan is going to be uh, pulling the motor out of this Husqvarna, my new one. Uh, just actually finished, well, not finished paying yet, but once... Uh, once they go to the bank, I'll give Buddy there the rest of his money, and uh, it's on our way. But I own it; it's mine. Um, so I got to. Uh, I'm gonna pull the motor out of it today. Uh, possibly put the new one in and drive it today, if possible. Uh, but usually that doesn't go as planned. Um, I think I'm just gonna wing it without the fuel pump. Uh, I was judge. I was just looking at it because of the well, the gas tank is set up. Um, I kind of sort of looked at it. Is if the carburetor is going right across. I'm thinking I'll probably have to keep that much fuel in it uh, with the uh, with the without the fuel pump. Um, so I think I'm just going to leave her be. I mean, I'm keeping it. I'm not going to be selling it anytime soon. So I say I'm just going to wing it without the fuel pump. Pop the motor on, and hopefully, uh, should be good to go. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking that it should be all set. I mean, the carburetor is lower than the fuel tank, so I might be all set. I'm not really sure. We're just going to try and wing it, see what happens. That kind of a deal. But, uh, yeah. It's definitely different sitting in this one than the Arians, i got to say. Um, but we have to wait and see how she, uh, how she mows. i got the Arians on Craigslist right now, so that's awesome. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so pretty much I think what the plan is for the week, uh, tomorrow morning, I'm going to take apart that weed eater thing. I'm going to see if I can make that shifter plate, <clears throat> that shifter plate I was talking about for the reverse and stuff, so we don't have to order it and spend like, I don't even know how much it's probably going to be, like 10 bucks or something ridiculous. Um, so I'm just going to wing it, see if I can, uh, make it, and if not, then I'll just probably order it, and I don't have to do a parts order until... Tomorrow at 3, 3.30 or 3, one of the two. So, uh, whatever. I'm going to do it first anyway. Figure that out. Um, then we're going to bring that Craftsman in. Uh, we pretty much traded out the uh, that white outdoor, so that Craftsman there. Um, so, the white outdoor, the uh, one that's got the blow-by again, that one's gone. And we we picked that Craftsman up the other day when we bought that $1,000 load um, of shit. 
So we're putting that 14 horse in it. The 14 horse came from some guy off of Craigslist. He's selling it. So we're just going to dump it in. It's kind of sort of a little bit under what, what's in there right now. they got a 17 there. And we're going to be putting a 14 in. So it's about a three, about a three horse difference. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Um, so that'll be tomorrow's project, motor swap. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be... The first beginning of the week is going to start slow, and then, well actually no, the first beginning of this week here is going to be kind of sort of um, a good steady pace to work, but by the end of the week we're going to be pretty damn slow, um, maybe Saturday or so, I think we're going to get some more shit in, I might be buying a Murray, um, it's got like a happy face on it, it's kind of weird looking, so I might be picking that up, and uh, we'll just have to play it by uh, day by day like what we usually do, but uh, yeah. Let's jump on this thing. Husqvarna. It's funny, all you guys down south say Husqvarna, and us guys up north, because we get the Boston accent, we say Husqvarna. Something else, I tell you. Cola. You got a cola engine. You guys say Kohler. We say cola. Something different with the accents but anyway let's uh get to work on this and uh fire up the tv and what a race last night is holy wasn't even going to do it but congratulations to hendrick motorsports on the 200th victory win what a fucking job that is jimmy johnson won last night pretty good race just as long as kyle bush doesn't win i'm happy and the story right there <laughs> all right so i don't know what the deal is with this uh, engine here i just happened to look underneath well i already know it. it's, it's blown up but I was looking underneath here. Check this out. I think we're gonna get some light underneath here. Give me a second here. Let that flash I go. I had one yesterday. Oh, there it is. So I was just underneath here and I happened to catch this. Take a look at this guys. I don't know if you can see that bolt right there. But that thing's off about a quarter of an inch. Let's see if we can... Yeah. That one is. And that one is right there. Same deal with these two up front. They're tight. I wonder what happened. There's the beast right there. It's a hydro gear. What else we on this side? Hydro gear. You can actually see right down there. Looks to be pretty clean. Looks really clean. Huh. It's in really clean shape. Not bad. Huh. Alright, well I guess we can unbolt them to, uh, well actually unbolt four mounts there and then the uh, motor should be free. I had to break the damn starter um, wire out of the starter itself because these two sons of bitches are stuck. So I had to uh, just rip it right out of the damn starter. But I mean, the starters are cheap, but jeez, thing is on there. All right, well, the motor's out. As you can see, it's a little bit dirty underneath there. Just a couple layers of years of dirt. But uh, yeah, so that's what we're looking at. Definitely, them two bolts were loose. You can definitely tell by the wear the two corners and a little bit up here but nothing too too bad um, oops this is the new motor here I just stuck the exhaust on it uh, I gotta take off the cable and then we're gonna bolt her on and hopefully she'll be good to go and I'll do some basic maintenance to it but I'm gonna clean this up a little bit so it doesn't look as shitty get all it out while I can and then uh yeah <laughs> it's like a friggin' layer. Wow. So, we'll do that, and uh, we'll get back to you in a bit. Alright, so, as you can see, we're just about ready to fire this thing up. Um, I got the uh, battery box charger going. Uh, battery's at 46%. Uh, I might just stick that never start in there and uh, throw it right in there, but motor's on um 
Yeah, pretty much motor's on. I finished up the electrical. Uh, this time it was all plug and play. I got the starter wire bolt all figured out because that thing was just a mess. I think I'm going to throw it in there. Nope. Um, but uh, I hit a little oil problem here. Uh, the oil drain is on this side when it actually should be on this side where that hole is. So, yeah, it's going to be fun next time trying to change the oil. Luckily, I did it while the motor was off. So probably next summer I'm gonna be have a hell of a time to uh, to uh, drain that oil, but um, it looks better with this cover on it. This is like a silk, uh, what am I saying? A gray cover compared to the black cover. But I noticed something, guys. I noticed something. I don't think that motor is the original motor in this Husqvarna. Um, everything lined up right, but there's one thing that every riding mower, zero turn mower needs to have when you have an electronic PTO setup, which is a little volt regulator, which is um, on the Briggs and Stratton's, it is this one, this is a Briggs and Stratton one, and this is a Kohler one, which is right there, that little box, that little square box. That is the charger system for the electronic PTO. This one, however, didn't have it. No box. Um, I'm wondering if that would explain why the two rear bolts or loose, maybe they just forgot to never tighten them back up, I don't know. Um, I mean that would kind of sort of explain a little bit about it and um, yeah I mean that's that's just my theory, I wonder, you know. I wonder. Huh, I just noticed something else. The oil drain. On a Kohler engine, they don't seal, they seal the engines when they do the oil drain the other side this one's got a plug in it so I wonder I bet you this engine isn't the original one I can almost guarantee it now all the pieces are starting to come together I bet you that's what they did I bet you that's exactly what they did they probably eventually they probably one day or another they probably blew it up once I bet you the original owner Driven it, driven it, driven it, blew it up once, bring it to the repair shop, drove it, mowed with it, and then blew it up again another year, like a couple of years spaced out in between. And then this time the guy probably didn't want to fix it. I betcha. I betcha. I betcha. Kind of sort of explains a little something right there. I mean, all the coals have this little volt regulator, but they need the bigger volt regulator to um, charge the uh, electronic PTO system. Kinda makes you wonder. But uh, yeah, so we're at 60%. I'm gonna give it another 10 minutes. I think I'm gonna get some jug up and uh, we'll get back to you in a little bit here. But uh, she's all done, ready to rock. Uh, this is like a good new flap. I just remembered I gotta get I gotta get new blades for this and I gotta get a new flapper thing because this swing's yeah, we'll leave the duct tape on there. It adds some character. At least the tires are good on this one. This tire's got plenty of tread. Look at all the tread on that. No, seriously, they actually have good tread. Usually, when you if you can't see that dot, is usually when your tires are gone. I can see both dots on them, so we're doing pretty good. Fucking rights. Well, we're getting there. Oh, I can pull this thing off now too. I was using this for my uh, gas fuel line future thing to hold up the line, but I actually replaced uh, the main line that goes from the gas tank to the motor. So, yeah. Oh, and I also know this is an exhaust shield missing off this thing. So, maybe if it's cheap, I'll order it up. Probably not. I'll probably be about another $90 or something ridiculous. So, yeah. Oh, one last thing, guys. If anyone uh, knows where I can find a model number on this thing, huh? Never mind, I found it. Yep, there it is. 
I've been looking for that. Never mind. I found it. Alright, we'll get back in a bit after uh, some juggle. Alright, I think the battery's charged up just enough. Uh, I gave her a little bit of prime for a good time in there. And, uh, yeah, so I got you guys on the camera mount right now. I'm gonna put you guys down somewhere. Hopefully she'll fire her up. Um, had a little problem with the spark plug. The, uh, damn fucking wire pulled out on me. Like, the whole entire wire, not the clip part. So I stuck a little bit of dielectric grease in there and hoping it'll, uh, hold her together. But I, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see until she fires. So I need two amps to do it. One to hold down the safety on the seat and one to turn the key. So I'll put you guys maybe right here. Yeah. Let's see. How am I going to... Let's see. Yeah, that might work right there. You guys happy right there? Leave a comment. Oh, wait. You can't because the video already been, would have already been made. Uh... You guys see what I'm seeing? Ah, uh, shit. Yep. Sure enough, uh, my deer didn't work. So pretty much my idea was, I uh, sure as hell wasn't fucking taking this block off again. So what I ended up doing uh, was kind of, sort of doing it step by step, I guess I can call it, and. Uh, Used each and every single one of them drill bits, including that one, to drill a hole in the block to create the uh, the little hole like in that one over there. Kind of so just followed what they did, took it off, popped it in, and it. Uh, so far, I'm hoping it's going to work. I haven't fired it yet. I got to do a few more things to it, and uh, hopefully she'll fire up. Uh, it just wasn't running all that great with the. Uh, with just the thing, so it's like, you know what, fuck it, oh, there's the gas cap, I've been looking for that for like the past hour, I'm getting ready to pass out in here, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'm hoping this idea will work, um, I've already drained out, I pretty much, what I did was I used the little air pressure piece, Blow it in there. I used the vacuum, kind of sort of sucking the shavings out just in case I wouldn't get any shavings inside the block there because I wasn't going to take the whole block off and then drill from the inside and then have to buy a new seal down at the bottom. So pretty much what I did was I drilled it right there on the block with the vacuum, sucking all the shavings into the vacuum. Then I, uh, I drained the oil again um, and I blew out any little leftover chunks with a little air nozzle piece that is... Uh, I don't even know where. Oh, there it is. And, um, put the fresh stuff in it, so now I'm getting ready to run it. I'm going to run it for about maybe an hour or so, and then I'm going to redrain the oil, and hopefully everything's good as gold. Uh, so I guess we'll soon find that out pretty shortly. Fucking rights. Alright, so, uh, thing runs pretty nice. Runs a lot, lot better. Um... Than before, way big difference. Uh, the fuel pump definitely helped out. I'm glad I installed it. I just checked the oil, no sparkles, which are, which is a good thing. Uh, I'd imagine the oil filter too would help get rid of all the, uh, the 
particles. Um, but I, I just think that the, the 16 horse, I think it needs more power. Yep. Um, it's just, um, I don't know really. It kind of sort of, um, it, it bogs down just a little bit when you kind of sort of hit a high patch of grass. Um, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's definitely, uh, it's got some lack of horsepower, I'll say that. Um, but other than that, it drives pretty good. Um, definitely doesn't drive as fast as that one. Uh, that one does drive a lot faster than this one. Um, I think Steve Turk told me that. On the, well, he left a comment a few days ago there, or I think it was maybe yesterday. He left the comment, and, uh, yep, he's definitely right about that one. Um, probably, that one there probably does about 8 miles an hour. Uh, this one here probably does about 6 miles an hour. You can just kind of sort of feel it. Might be 7. Um, it, it's a very high 6, I'll tell you that. Um, but on that, I mean, it runs, it mows, it cuts pretty good. Definitely needs a new set of blades. Um, so I don't know, really. It's, it's a decent mower, you know. It just needs, uh, it just needs a, another implant, I can tell you that. Um, yeah, definitely, 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 definitely needs more power. Um, yeah. <laughs> Tell you that much. I'll, I'll give it that. But uh, I, mean, I bet you once I stuck a new motor on it, maybe even put like a 20 horse on it, uh, this thing would fucking cruise. Um, you know, I mean, there'd be an extra full horsepower right there alone. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll look into it, see how much a 20 horse is. I know I've seen them on eBay. New for about, um, about 500 bucks. Um, I'm sure I can get them a little bit cheaper than that, but, uh, yeah, I'm still going to keep it. I like it. It's not bad, you know, but, uh, yeah, so I guess I'll end the video here, guys. I'm going to come back out later on tonight, clean this place up, because it's a wreck. Tomorrow we're going to dump that 14-horse motor into that tractor, and, uh, it'll be a pretty good day. So until then, don't do donuts with the zero turn.